sounds a little bit congested. Well, you know, it's the Persian nose thing.
This is a dozen. Yep. Um, one case of the Frisky Needy Bites variety pack. You know, and Judy was here today because it's Tuesday, and she's got our food area all reorganized, and she does a really great job for us doing that. that oops, I'm sorry. I almost got you there, buddy. And this one is a pate. It's a 32 pack, but I don't have a name on it. So does anybody claim it? Let me double check, guys. No, there's no, there's no paper in it. Anybody know who did these? So there's a 24 pack and then a 32 case pack. So gosh, maybe somebody will let us know. If if you did, just uh, pop it on there, and and Carolina Ash will will jot it down for me, okay? And I don't know what we do without you guys helping us with our food. We'd be in a bit of a problem. Aha! Here's one. This oh, this is from Tink's dad. I got a paper over here. It's you over, babe. Yeah, you gotta stay out of the line there, honey. This is from Tink's dad. I got a letter from him. And Tink's dad, it says, from Tink's dad, I love watching you and the volunteers taking care of all the cats and kitties. Thank you, Tink's dad. And I did get your email. And whenever I get these, I try to tape them up there above the, um, by the cam so that I can keep track and try to know what's coming in so I, I know the names of them. And this is really a welcome sight too because today when my sister was organizing all the food, she told me other than the few cans we have in the cupboard there, we were all out of fancy feet. So this will help us big time. This will uh, restock our... Yeah, I was hoping so. <laughs> I heard King Stan had said that he was going to send some things to be, so I was hoping it would come today. Uh, and there's a whole... Do you want to put it in it, Yeah. Right in the, the box. Sure, yeah. On the blue, on the mm -hmm. right side, there's mm -hmm. a whole shelf to be left on there for it. Thank you, Tink Dad. You're a lifesaver. We like up the kitty food. <laughs> I appreciate it. You guys are just so wonderful. Um, uh, I, you know, I think I told you that we, I've only gone to, uh, get, I only asked Paul to do twice in this past year, two food, two canned food runs, so that's because you guys have supplied it, and I don't know how we would do it without that help. And we have a paper again. Oh, this is from Charlie from CS. And I have CS is here too. Charlie, thank you. I have your your email here too. At, yep, at first it was going to come December 1st, and then he told me it was November 29th. Thank you, Charlie. I don't know what's in here yet, though. All right. Oh, you got us three different flavors. Oh, there's, this is awesome. Charlie, thank you. We use so much of this friskies. There's three cases. One is uh, filet, filet, and meaty bits. So we always mix these with the pate, which we have some of those. And um, that makes a really good food for them. Thank you, Charlie. I appreciate this. Yeah, this is good food. You guys are, how do you say thank you enough? I don't know. Oh, be careful, Shasta. I do, I need it. I did. Oh, I can't do Push it down. Push it down. There you go. You know what, Jossie? We'll just put this one right over here. There's Shasta. Shasta's inside it. Here's the one with the picture. Shasta's inside it. Yeah, I saw that. Charlie, thanks a whole bunch. You need to come and visit us, Charlie. You've been with us a long time on the camp. That was 
so funny, doesn't it? I know. It's going to be weird. Three pieces. Now, this one is an interesting thing. Thank you. Yeah, there's, um... <laughs> there goes more gray hair for me. I shot somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is really cute. On the side of this one, it says the Kitty Express. i got to show this to you. I think this is supposed to be a calico picture. <laughs> does that come in clear enough? I hope it does. It's hard to hold up. It says the Kitty Express, and I think that there's a calico, and it says meow on there. And this is from, it's from the Vaughn family in Cuba, um, Arizona. I'm going to cut that out so that I, I always try to keep some of these. Yeah, this is the Vaughn family um, from Cuba, Alabama. Yeah, there's another picture over here. And this is a... I wonder if I could do it this way. Then we can keep it. I can keep the other one, too. Yeah. Here's the other picture. Isn't this cute? Decorated boxes. <laughs> Whoops, wait a minute. No, AL. Isn't AL? Oh, you guys are right. You caught me. See, I have a cheat sheet over here. AL is Alabama. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> I'm just checking to see if you're on your toes. That's what... That's what really happened. That's what I always tell Steve when I make a mistake. I was just checking to see if you were listening. Huh. Usually he does when I make a mistake. I'm oh going my up goodness. Here stepping on this again. Boy, that one was loud, wasn't yeah, it? Look yeah. at this. Yeah. Wow. This is awesome. Ooh. Wow. Whisker dry food. There's whisker dry food. This is a huge package. Here. Right there. Here, why don't you stand over here, honey? And kitty milk. We use that. Temptation of kitty treats. And I think we can probably put these in the drawer. Yep, there's room. Well, there's more kitty treats, too. She's and more excited. kitty treats? There you go. Okay. And these are 13 gallons. These are the ones that we're using now for all of our recycling. And another kitty treaty. Our Q-tip, which you know we use a lot of those. Here, Jesse, you got to stand over there so your head's not right back in the way. Some kitty toys. And here's another bag of the Whiskas. Oh, and this one's a kitty one. One adult. Kitty. No, this is meaty selections. Is that kitty? That's adult. Yeah, and this one is kitty. Oh, I yeah. didn't even know they make I haven't seen that. Mm -hmm. oh. And we've got, oh, a really cool purple toy. My daughter Karen would like that. Pure catnip gets a cat's motor running. Uh, hope to give that to them. Oh, and here's another. Oh, I see what you did. You packed the boxes with the dry food. There's a frisky. And another can of food. It's cold still. Yep. But it does, I mean, I just meant cold because it's cold outside. And Whiskas, this is another meaty selection adult one. Should I put them here? You want me to put them away? Over here. Or I can put them no, away too. And the magic eraser. Hey, we, we, I'm going to leave this out to remind me. See down there along. Until we get the mop board on. Oh, yeah. I mean, see, it's starting to get a little dirty on here. It won't come off with the, with the with, rag. No, but I bet it will with this. Yeah. Or a little toothbrush or something. I wish I'd have discovered these because I would have some money then. These things are the best things to get certain, certain pieces of crud off. And paper towels, which we always, always, always need. Um, six mega rolls equals ten regular rolls. I, do you think we should? Yes. We should put it in our hallway, shouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, this is the Kitty Express. There, now I can do it a little easier. Should have done that before. I didn't realize it would be so easy to take. Isn't that cute? 
Is the blind family on? Yeah, we'll, we will definitely hang those up. We use, I don't know, um, if you could see the refrigerator, it's full of stuff. And then the hallway we put things on also. And then we have another box, a second box from the Vaughn family. Look at how nice. That's a really good picture also. Oops, let's do it this way. What? Yeah. What a clever way to to uh, hide, you know, what when you're supposed to cover the boxes. Look how good that drawing is. That's really cool. That kind of, I think, maybe is a calico or maybe a cordy. We'll hang those up. And this, of course, is also the Vaughn family. And um, the webcam name is, I think if I can read it right, it's Vanna uh, Underline and Pearl. Oh, Jesse, be careful. Yeah. Oh, I should open this one first. Let's see what it says. Here, we'll shut this. It says, oh, I like this. Uh, dear FFRC, you look at this. Isn't this cool? That's pretty cool. It says, your cats and kittens are so cute. In fact, they're adorable. I like Bushka. She's pretty and all the others, too. I watch you all every morning before I go to school. My name is Ashlyn Vaughn. I'm nine years old and I live in Cuba. What did we say, Alabama? Yeah. I have a cat too. His name is Oscar Meyer Vaughn. <laughs> he's orange and he's a tabby. So that's the that's this picture that Ashlyn drew. He sleeps all all day and plays all night like most cats. I'm a cat person. I like cats because. They clean themselves, and they're cute and cuddly. I hope you all get more of the center cats adopted. Good luck. Oh, wow. Ashlyn, you're a pretty cool girl. Isn't that neat? This will definitely go up on our hallway, too. Hallway of notes. Oops. Okay. Ashlyn, you would get along good with my grandkids, I do think. Now, I bet you this is from your mom and dad. Friends of Felines Rescue Center. You all know we love cards. It says, oh, it's got a B on it. Be inspired. It says, dear Jackie and volunteers, I have to say that the work you do to care for some of the sweetest animals is appreciated by so many. That's nice to hear. It was only by chance I even saw the live cam feed and became hooked. So many beautiful animals in such sad situations, and they couldn't have found a better place for TLC oh. rehab or to live out their last days as oldsters. The absolute happiest times for all of you must be watching these kitties find their forever homes with those sweet souls who are as loving as all of you. I can say our family has been truly inspired by you all. In a handwritten letter from my daughter, you can leave or you can learn of our first rescue kitty. In the last few weeks, we have rescued several others, including our newest family member, Gracie. From the first time we saw Bushka, we knew we had to have a calico in our midst. Isn't that nice? I believe that Gracie was found by Grace, hence her name. But more than that, I believe she was sent to us. You know, I always think that the people that come here for our kitties, that they're sent to us also. This is such a small token, but these items will hopefully be useful to you for the kitties. And a few items you and the volunteers will enjoy. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for all you do. Rindy, Reed, Ashlyn, Oscar, and Gracie. And down here it says, P.S. Hope you enjoy Ashlyn's artwork as she enjoyed drawing and decorating the boxes. So Ashlyn was our artist for the boxes and did you see her letter? <laughs> I heard you read yeah, it. Yeah, isn't that cute? Ashlyn, thank you and your family. 
Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, Jackie, not sure if you already have this, but with so many special babies like this, we thought you would enjoy it or maybe just have it for visitors to look at. Either way, we hope you enjoy it. And it's the, uh, what's, what's the matter with Henry? The true tale of a three-legged cat. <laughs> Aww. Have you ever heard this one? Uh-uh. I've, heard the, I've heard about it, but I've never read it. Yeah, I don't. Oh, you know what? We still have to get that light above here. I've not read this one. It says here, when Henry was found, his left front leg dangled uselessly from his shoulder. That could have been the end of the story for this little striped kitten, but instead it was the beginning of an unlikely adventure as two dog lovers rescued him. Well, I am going to read this tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I love books. Okay. Oh, I see something in there I really like. Um, styrofoam plates, which you know we always use, and I think we have room up there for some of those. Okay. And notes, which we're always writing down, and pens. I threw out two this week already that we used up. Oh, and scotch tape. <laughs> I swear, I'm the um, post-it note queen and the tape girl. I'm always taping everything. And you know why it is, because I use post-it notes, but I uh, don't trust the cats to run off, not to run off with the coat, with the um, notes, so I always tape everything. Clorox wipes, which I know this was starting to get low on. So this will be very, very handy. Wow, this is just stuff full of lots of stuff. Stuff full of lots of stuff. And then now we're to the people things, I think. Oh, Doritos. I know Kurt likes those. And Fritos. We'll put those. We'll put these in pin one. And it's, it's our top pin over there. We don't use it for cats, rarely ever, do we? It's always... Well, you can't lately. No, we can't. We put the things in there that you all send for the volunteers to share. It goes in there, and the, and the volunteers always check it out. Two boxes of um, marshmallow uh, hot chocolate. And, oh, this will go over big time, too. Pure pyroline. I don't know how to pronounce that right. Chocolate hazelnut. Those are those... Uh, Artesian rolled mm -hmm. wafers, yeah, those are really good. And then lemon cookies. Somebody, one of the volunteers had brought some of these lemon cookies here. It's been a couple months ago, and they said that these were really good. It's crisp lemon cookies rolled in powdered sugar. And these are my one of my favorites. Oh, that's those little okay. Mm -hmm. Besides the Reese's Pieces and the peanut butter cups. These are good. Every a lot of them like it this year. Um, the Vaughn family, thank you so much. You guys are all awesome. I can't thank you enough for your support. Um, we appreciate you. Oh, oh no, oh no, what happened? I stepped on Dawn, but we also need Dawn. Da all right, Donna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's a nice heavy box. Yeah, or this one. Yeah. I'll give you the other. Or you got it. Okay. okay. Um, Where do you want the Clorox? And with the rest of the gentle Yeah, room? yep. Thank you. But now, one of those, I think the orange one is the one we're using right now. Oh, you only got two? Okay. Yeah, yep. And Key Margo, you asked for a hug and kiss for Donna? Mm, there's a kiss. And you get a hug. That's from Key Marvel. Okay. <laughs> She's purring. So we had a few questions. I'll go over these and then um, well, I'll give you a little update on a few things first. The, uh, oh boy, it's been a long day. The rag doll that came back today, her name is Sari, Sari S-A-R-I, that's the name that we had her. She's doing really good, and I do have another home for her. Um, somebody had heard me last night, not a, not a chatter, but a viewer, 
and they're really interested in her and they will probably be coming late tonight yet maybe or tomorrow morning early early to get her and that's going to be really nice uh, they've already been checked out everything's fine vet references and I know them through a couple people that knows them um, they're going to take her and which is a good thing she's not she's really a nice girl she's not used to um, other cats very well so this means that her stay here is going to be really short and that way she doesn't have to get used to here you know just leave her home get used to here and then they have to get used to another home so we're going to cut out the middleman if you want to say it that way um, for her so that will be good and then the, uh, Paul and Jimmy uh, Jimmy's our new guy that's helping with farm chores on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The other days, Paul does them. And Jimmy is also good. He's helped us this in the last year with roof repair. The new roof that's on this one up here, Jimmy was part of helping. And he also helped Paul put all the fiberboard in Kitty City. So remember a year ago when we started putting all the fiberboard here in this rescue center, we did all this part, and then we... Paul started on the there's three rescue rooms back here two of them he got done the last one we didn't get to finish so just now so today they're working on that and um, uh, they'll probably they say they'll get done tomorrow with June's or my hope so because to do this you know, we have to take everything out of it and shuffle it into the other rooms and what else today so the rain and the snow and the thunder and all of that was crazy. We did have a bad flood a week ago tonight in Kitty City. I told Martha it's all her it's fault. It's always Tuesday. <laughs> and then today the rain, it woke, when I got up at 4, it just was pounding. And it never left up. Uh, just rained and rained and rained all day. And I knew Kitty City was going to flood again. So Paul and I went out and we dug um, trenches to get all the water away but it just took forever it just there was so much water so he did last year put uh, that tile that has the holes in it the drainage tile along that area <clears throat> and took it out into the parking lot to drain but we were just talking today we've got another thing that we can do to catch the other corner where more of the water is coming in it's just that it just rains so much in such a short amount of time that it just couldn't the ground is so saturated it just can't go down anymore so we're gonna we will work on that um, but right now Kitty City's dry tomorrow we'll get some mopping done in there and get it all prettied up again um, and now it's snowing is it still snowing you know a little bit the the Jackie, I want them to see what these cats do <laughs> Not our kitty. <laughs> they never do stuff like that. Oh, I wish we could, Wild. Oh, I know you guys need the rain. No. Um, so then this, it to <laughs> this rain then turned to snow, and my weather thing said that we're supposed to get like three to four inches. Uh -huh. But it's too wet. It's a, the, the snow that's coming down is just soggy. It's just wet, Gross. wet. It's flush. Yeah, it's flush. It's flush coming out of the sky. And then... Nissa. Nissa was adopted today by Diane, and I was, I was, I, I am so happy that Diane took Nissa. This has been with us for three years, and you know when they've been here that long, not only do we love them extra, extra much, but uh, I worry because this is their only home, and it is harder for an adult that's been here for so long to adjust. And I worry, what do they think? You know, we left them, and anyhow, I'm a big worry wart. Anyhow, it sounds like from what Diane has said that things are going great, and she's already posted four or five pictures on the on our Facebook, and I I couldn't be any happier to have an adult adopted by someone who is so willing to share a wonderful home with them. So, Diane, if you're on, I'm just so thankful and give this a, a hug for me. So, Joe, I'm I've just got some questions. Joe asked about the goose. We've had um, those angel wing geese on the property before. See, we have the river. You all, a lot of you know we have the river in front of us. And then <clears throat> there's like a finger of the river comes around the back of us. So the entire back of the our five acres 
has uh, backwater of, of the river. And the Canada geese are out there quite a bit. And some of them, if they can't fly because of these angel wings, they do come up and they just stay because they can't fly. They're well taken care of, you know, and I know that they shouldn't breathe <laughs> because they do pass that on. So apparently there was a couple goose um, rescues, maybe I guess I could say, that is has stepped up or something. I don't I don't know the whole story, but anyhow, the goose problem I think is resolved or is going to be. So I'm not sure exactly where it's all going. Speedy asked me how Aprilla is doing. Um, thank you, Speedy, for asking. Um, she's doing. She's eating. No, she's licking today. She's been, every time I go in, she meow, you know, that meow, meow, meow that you guys have heard her do. <laughs> but, and then I give her that gravy sensations and she's licking all the juice off. She's not really eating real well. I'm going to probably weigh her tomorrow. Uh, she seems a little more calmer today, not so little frantic like what she was over the weekend. So we're just going to continue with her. I love her and I'm, I'm hoping she'll be with me a while yet. Uh, Nikki asked, or was that, um, I think it was Nikki. I have an N-I-K. I I might have wrote sloppy. How many great kitties do we have left? Well, of course we have our, our, um, cutie, who's permanent. And then we have Nuki, Nuki with the K. And Nuki, um, is here. I've been seeing her more and more today. And then we have Claudius and Chia left. Now, um... Claudius is on hold and will be leaving next week. So we've got the three, but only two of those are available for adoption now because uh, Cuties Permanent, Claudius is on hold, Nuki and um, Chia are up for adoption. And show Jeepers, I will look for Jeepers and see if I can find Jeepers and show you. And Cinder asks, is cats eating, oh, eating dog food harmful? Well, I've had that happen. I've never had them get sick from it, but the reason that we don't want that to happen here is because the dog food uh, nutrition is not um, what is necessary for a cat and vice versa. So dogs should eat doggy food and kitties should eat kitty food because the nutritional needs that a dog need has versus a cat is different. So if they swap their food, they're not going to get the nutritional needs that is required of them. You know, once or twice a little snacky here and there. Like what Jazzy does when she runs through it, here. Cat food makes dogs fat too, doesn't it? Yes, there's more calories in the cat food, and it will make them chubby, chubby wubby. So um, I know, like up here in the mornings when I'm preparing the dog stuff, a couple of the kitties will come up and munch and crunch on a few pieces. Yeah. That kind of stuff is no big deal if if you do it as their main diet because the of the nutritional value is not what a cat needs versus what a dog needs. Um, Beth asked if Nuki is hiding at mealtime. You know, this morning and this afternoon, sweetie, Nuki was out. Actually, this morning, Nuki was on the counter. Nuki was in here eating. Yeah, Nuki was yeah, in he, there. He was laying there. But for Nuki to get on the counter um, just floored me. I was really, really surprised that he did that. Here's my book. Granted, when I put my arm over there to stir it, you know, or to scoop it, he he backed off again. But I thought that was pretty cool that he jumped up on the counter. Oh, we don't first of all here. Yep, Martha's looking for Jeeper. He was out earlier. He's hiding. I heard that little pop. And then, um, let me see here where we're at. Yeah, Marsha asked about the trenches. Yep, we were we were digging out there. Siamese, Mish, I believe it was, asked about Hudson and Cobbett. I do, I have not heard from them. So if I will probably, hey Martha, can you put on tomorrow's paper or tomorrow's board <coughs> to call Hudson and Cobbett? And we'll check on them. I'll check on that tomorrow. And Tommy asked about the new rag doll, if I could show show her. I'm a little leery to bring her in here, Tommy, because, like I said, she's not used to any other cat. 
um, I'm just afraid that it will upset her. She's even a little bit shy with people, so I um, I don't think that she would be real receptive to that. Um, Nuki asked about ProPlan. We use ProPlan. The biggest thing is that we look for is that chicken is is the top is the number one ingredient. So whatever it is, there's like Prina One. There's all kinds of um, Imes, all kinds of Yucanuba. I think ProPlan has it where chicken, or at least some of their flavors. Uh, has chicken as first maxim. There's all kinds of them. There's a lot of good ones out there. That uh, um, chicken noodle or chicken noodle soup? Is that what that's called? That one, uh, chicken something heart one. That one's also got chicken as the first. And Susan asked about an update on Kurt Curdy Willie. Oh my goodness! Last night when I went to bed. Oh, it can be beef, too. It can be beef, too, do it, just as long as the first ingredient is, is a meat. <coughs> oh, for you can do this. Yeah. Here's Nuki right here, and here's little our little Wheezy boy. Oh, and I wanted to talk about Wheezy and Donna, too. Um, Curdy Willie, Willie, last night when I went to bed, he had his collar on for the first time ever. I could see where he had got his toes up there and scratched it. So um, I put some ointment on it, rechecked his ears. Everything was good there, but um, this morning he had a really bad, to the point that there was like a, a secondary infection, I guess you would call it, in it. So took the plastic collar off for a little while and um, we scrubbed it up, put antibiotic ointment on it, dressed it and put a vet wrap around it. So we'll probably, well we will, not probably, but we will. We'll take that off tomorrow and take a look at it. Um, his ears have shown under the scope. Is crystal clear in there. Uh, the, where his stump is is nowhere near up here by his neck. You know, we've talked about everything. I've got a call into the vet. I'm hoping that they'll get back with me tomorrow about this kind of a weird situation so we're we're trying to get to the bottom of it and he looked at me like I was a real meanie doing that to him today that about broke my heart I love that boy uh, Bubba asked if he could see the pea kitty and they're all out now Bubba um, when I'm done here I'll walk around and see if I can find any of them Martha can't find anybody I can't look well, for, I'm looking keepers. for keepers but I don't see him okay he was out of uh, if they want to, hey, 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 hey. that's not as much a pecking burger. Aw, Badu is playing in one of the boxes behind us. There she is. Today, she, Badu was in the sink, and the water was flowing a little bit heavier than normal, and she was letting it hit like way back here, and it was running up, back up over her hair, and her fur was starting to come forward, and. She was taking her tongue and lapping it up, coming off of the sides of her. She was so funny. That little Cessna, that little girl, oh my gosh, she is a little riot. She, she thinks she's a big old lion. Uh, Sarah asked if Steve and I had a nice date. We did. Oh, this, you might like this to hear this, you guys. <clears throat> Remember at the Catathon, how I was so surprised and so grateful. Some of you all sent some gift cards. Um, for me to use, and one of them was to that uh, tequila. Uh, I always mispronounce the second name, but it was a restaurant here in Defiance says Mexican food. And oh, I had it in my uh, wallet, and I just found it yesterday. I had it tucked in there, and I'd forgotten about it, and there it was. So Steve and I went tonight and had a supper on you guys. So thank you. And Beth asked what Beth's story was, and. Um, Beth came in. Well, you know, she's our Calico girl. Yeah, tequila thing. Um, Beth, Beth came here on November 19th. Her birthday is August 20th. She was 13 weeks old when she came. And a man just found her. He was, he was just outside and he saw her. She was crying. She picked, he picked her up and he purred, she purred and she purred and she purred. 
So he just appeared at the door, and, you know, you take a look at her, and it's like, oh, my gosh, we got to help her. She was so cute. So she's here, and she's so cute. We we're so glad that we have her. Um, yeah, that's the one that my, where my husband won't let me have. <laughs> And let me think here. The other thing I wanted to mention, and I've mentioned it once or twice while I was chatting with you guys. Oh, jeepers! Where? Is uh, Donna and Weezy Weasley is uh, is on a is on a hold for this lady. Her name is uh, Carlene or Colleen. I'm sorry, Colleen. Her name is Colleen. She's, she wrote me a letter about herself today, but I, I haven't got to sit down and read it all yet. But she is from Alaska, and she does want to adopt. Oh. No, nope, that's from Dennis. She does want to adopt Weasley and Donna, which I'm thrilled about because those two love each other. They're the best playmates together. Um, she's going, you know, and I'm always very, very fussy about planes. People ask me all the time, can I fly a kitty here? fly a kitty there and I won't do it because they put him in cargo which is one of the first questions that I asked uh, Colleen and she's going to fly in and she's going to spend a couple nights I think here and then um, when she goes back to the airport the kitties are going to be in um, the cabin with her so <clears throat> um, Colleen just if you're on remember to let me know when you make your dates firm up your dates I know it's not for a while yet because we have to have the kitties traveling papers ready for them too. So I think that that's all I have. Except I'm gonna for Bubba. I'm gonna try to find uh, the P, some of the P kitties also. And did I miss anything on there? Jeepers have a buddy. You know, Jeepers. Jeepers. Jeepers likes um, Danae. I, I see Jeepers and Danae laying together on the yellow, or actually it's the dryer. They want, they want Racer to take a pic of Sorry. Oh, Racer's not here tonight. And if uh, Sorry leaves, or Sari leaves tonight, we may not get it. Or is she leaving tonight? She might leave tonight, yeah. Oh, that's the, the, the red doll, yeah. Your phone won't take off? Pardon? Your phone home? Yeah, probably would. Yeah, I'm going to call Cobbis' owner tomorrow, Larray, and find out how they're doing. Bargains with fur coats. I know, we have to toughen those guys up, get them used to winter for Alaska. Did you find her, Georgia? Did you find her? We found her. Ooh. I found her, Georgia. We were Which showing all the black and white kitties oh, last geez. night, and that was the one we couldn't find. Drinking wine while we watch? Are you supposed to be? <laughs> My throat feels like I need to be drinking something. Okay, mention. Everything goes with wine. Oh, who did? Oh, Cobbis, you did. Did uh, did Carolina Ash get that? Warm Jello. Carolina Ash, did you see where Cobbis is the one that sent one of the boxes that wasn't marked? Yep, okay, cool, you're good. Um, Bubba, here's one of them. This is Praline. <laughs> Bantry, you've been, wait a minute, wait a minute, Bantry, I've been drinking. Oh, Bantry, come here and drink with me. Um, on the rag doll. If she goes, I'm probably not going to bring her in here in the rescue center. She is not keen on any of the other kitties, and I'm just afraid I might upset her. So I think just for her sake that we won't. Can you look at, can you look at that? Where are you looking at? Isn't she cute? She's got the prettiest little face. Yeah. That is, uh, that growling? is uh, Stefna and Donna acting like goons together and also Weasley is getting in on the act too. Well let me look for the other one. Oh, hey, if you run across the Castro, if, if, if you well, I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll find Castro too. Castro, yes. Yeah. I, I did see Castro. Well, I saw him, but it's been a while. <laughs> 
They never are. They never are when we want them. 